It's day two of the Democratic National Convention and several delegates from Middle Georgia are attending the big event. 41 NBC's Rashad Hollis joins us now with their reaction to last night's speech from the First Lady. I spoke with Quentin Howe, who is running for State House District 145 in Baldwin County, and Paul Bronson, who are both at the Democratic National Convention this week. Thousands of people cheered First Lady Michelle Obama as she took the stage at the Democratic National Convention Tuesday night. You had several, several uh, um, highlight reel moments. Of course, the, uh, the biggest speech of the night was the uh, 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 Michelle Obama, the First Lady of the United States. Uh, just, just seeing her get up on stage, uh, as, as wonderful as she is, as eloquent as she is, uh, she performed well. She, she got the message out there. She connected with the people. The first lady talked about her love for her husband and family, and how the people around them helped them become successful. We learned about gratitude and humility that so many people had a hand in our success, from the teachers who inspired us to the janitors who kept our school clean. And we were taught to value everyone's contribution and treat everyone with respect. Democratic Delegate Paul Bronson and Quentin Howe say they both enjoyed Tuesday night's speech and are urging everyone to go out and vote this November. Uh, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, he, he wasn't born with millions of dollars in his bank account. He was, he was the everyday, average Joe. Uh, that wants to do something with his life, that, that wants to do great things in life and help the community out. I think it's crucial for people to listen to both conventions and to listen with open eyes, open ears, and put the biases away to the side. Because the, less, the more biases we have and preconceptions we come in, the harder it would be for all of us to be able to move forward together. The Democratic National Convention ends Thursday.